Today, we have news that Season 1 update will be live on the PC Public Test Servers starting on Saturday, January 23rd. In this update, we are getting the new Rogue, Kestrel, and with her, three new weapons, a new grenade gadget, a new perk, and new abilities. The Battle Pass will also be live, and I'll be sure to have a full breakdown of the Battle Pass to you as soon as I can get my hands on it. Pricing on the Battle Pass will be 1,000 Rogue Bucks for the Base Bundle and 2,000 Rogue Bucks for the Elite Bundle. There's a new game mode coming to Rogue Company called Sabotage, and there are a ton of balance changes which will be buffing and nerfing several characters and weapons. Quick reminder that if you aren't subscribed to the channel yet and want to get notified as soon as more information for Rogue Company drops regarding Season 1 or literally anything else, be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. If you want people to play with or chat with, join our community Discord. If you want more links, follow me over on Twitter. And if you want to harass me while I'm live streaming, feel free to over on my Twitch. Links for all these are down in the description below. First, we have the new Rogue Kestrel. One of the founding members of Rogue Company, now retired, Kestrel has been called back to even the playing field against Jackal. With Kestrel, she'll be bringing some new weapons. For primary weapons, she will have access to the Riptide Assault Rifle and the Knight SMG. The Riptide is a new assault rifle with the following stats. Body damage of 18, fire rate of 9.17, range of 24, handling of 32, magazine size of 30, and a reload time of 2. Next, we have the new SMG, the Knight. Its stats are as follows. Body damage of 22, fire rate of 8, range of 12, handling of 33, magazine size of 20, and a reload time of 1.6. Again, guys, I'll be sure to have some first look gameplay as soon as Kestrel goes live, so stay tuned for that. For a secondary weapon, she will have access to the P-12K, which is the same pistol as Phantom and Talon use. As for melee, it will indeed be the Kukri that we just data mined. Here are the stats on the Kukri. Body damage of 40, throw damage of 100, swing rate of 2.17. Kestrel will also have access to the Adrenaline Shot Gadget, which is the same as Sigrid's, as well as a new grenade called the Bounce Grenade. We just data mined this grenade in our prior video, but it seems like it'll act similar to a frag grenade. You have to wait to see more details on this one. As for perks, Kestrel will have access to Berserker, gain the ability to reload while sprinting, Padded Steps, silence the sound of your footsteps when not sprinting, Stalker, removes aim down sights, movement speed penalty, Helping Hand, revive teammates faster, Replenish, downing an enemy reloads your currently equipped weapon and resource ammunition, and a brand new perk called Resupply. Eliminating an enemy causes them to drop a supply kit. Picking up a supply kit re-equips your purchase gadgets. We'll have to wait to see if this is only visible to Kestrel or if anyone from your team or the enemy team can also pick up that supply kit. Kestrel's activated ability is called Halo Drones. This will deploy a cluster of Halo Drones at your location that will fire a barrage of rockets in the direction you are looking. No news yet here on damage numbers, but it sounds pretty powerful. Her passive ability is called Legends Contract, which will award a thousand extra cash per down. Okay, that wraps up Kestrel, so let me know down in the comments what you think about Kestrel right now, and if you think she'll be under or overpowered at release. Next, we have a new limited time game mode coming called Sabotage. Sabotage will work like this. In each round, both teams fight to take control of a neutral bomb and detonate it in the enemy team's zone, or eliminate the enemy team's tickets. Each team has a limited number of respawns. Here are some more details on this new game mode. This is a 4v4 match. Each match is a best of five. Each round has a game time of four minutes. Each team begins with 40 tickets. The respawn time is seven seconds. A team wins by planting the bomb or having the most tickets left when the round ends. There is no defend time once you plant the bomb. Teams will switch sides every round. While a player is holding the bomb, they are revealed to friendlies in green and enemies in gold. The bomb will reset where it spawns if it gets thrown off the map or is idle for 30 seconds. The following maps will be playable for the Sabotage game mode. High Castle, Favelas, Lockdown, Vice, and Windward. Next, we have the Battle Pass. The Season 1 Battle Pass is Rogue Company's first and is filled with 50 rewards you can unlock. Just by playing the game, you'll earn Battle Pass levels and work your way to the top. There are two Battle Pass bundles available. The first is the Battle Pass base bundle and it will cost 1,000 Rogue Bucks. This bundle will unlock three instant premium rewards, being the one-shot, one-kill fixer outfit, neon psychedelic primary wrap and a one hour account boost. Also, you'll be getting a permanent 20% battle pass experience boost. The second bundle is the battle pass elite bundle and it will cost 2000 rogue bucks. This bundle will unlock everything in the base bundle, but in addition will grant you 15 battle pass levels. If a thousand rogue bucks extra is worth 15 battle pass levels to you, go for it. With the beginning of season one, Rogue Company is introducing boosts, which can be earned at various levels in the battle pass. There are a few important notes, however. These boosts will increase your base experience gained by 100% before bonuses. Only one boost may be active at a time. A boost once activated will run based on time, even if you are offline. 
You can view your available boosts and activate one in the boost menu found in the bottom left corner of the main menu. These are currently only available as rewards. Also with Season 1, Rogue Company is removing level reputation earned per match and providing it in a different way. The following changes have been made. Rewards given at each level have been increased by 100%. Contract rewards have been increased significantly. And Contracts Renewal will now provide you with three contracts at once per day instead of one every six hours. Hopefully this fixes the never refreshing contract bug that many of you have experienced. Experienced. All right, time for the meat and potatoes, the balance changes. We'll start with the rogues. Anvil is getting a bug fix that I debate could be considered a buff. Fixed some issues that prevented Anvil from deploying his barricade in various places. Lancer is seeing a decent nerf in this patch. Her ability will no longer provide minimap detection immunity. Consider Talon and his radar dart a viable counter to Lancer now. She's also having her ability recharge time increase from 30 seconds to 45 seconds. This is a significant nerf, and I know a lot of you have been waiting to see a Lancer nerf so we'll see how much this affects her. Phantom is having an adjustment which I personally see as a buff. Phantom will no longer have the air and DMR, instead she will now have Vice Nightshade Assault Rifle. Ronin is getting a buff to her Ballistic Knife. Direct hit damage has been increased from 125 damage to 250 damage. Saint is getting an adjustment or slight buff. He will no longer have Trip Mines, instead he will have C4. There are also some big changes to his MLX Assault Rifle, but I'll cover that in the weapons section. Scorch is seeing a similar nerf to Lancer. The recharge duration on her ability is being increased from 30 seconds to 45 seconds. Trench is getting a, uh, a buff. He will now have two charges of his barbed wire instead of one, but the size of the barbed wire is getting reduced from 9 meters down to 4 meters. The barbed wire will also no longer be able to be destroyed with melee attacks. Man, time to start maining Trench again. Alright, that wraps up the rogues, let's talk weapons. First, we have the Dead Eye. This is for Talon and Fixer, and we're seeing a slight buff here. Increased headshot damage from 54 to 58. Body damage increased from 34 to 38. Increase the fall off damage at max ranges. Next, the Executioner Pistol is seeing a slight nerf with a reduction in fall off damage at max ranges. The MLX Mark IV for Saint is seeing an adjustment and a nerf. This weapon no longer uses a scope. Instead, it will aim down sight like other assault rifles. Body damage has been reduced from 20 to 19. The MXR for Dalian and Trench is being nerfed as well. First, they fixed an issue that increased the MXR's fire rate. The fire rate is now 4.7. Headshot damage reduced from 48 to 44. Body damage reduced from 32 to 30. And for the SLC for Ronin and Scorch, there is a slight buff. Slightly reduce the vertical kick. Again, if you want to be updated as soon as possible on all things Rogue Company, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't. I'm always on the search for new people to play with and feature in videos, so if that interests you in any Anyway, come jump in our Discord. I'll put the link in the description below as well as in a pinned comment. Stay awesome, and I'll see you next time.